welcome back. You are listening to Mixing Music. I'm your host, DK. I do want to say I have lost my voice, so I do sound a little bit different today. But today with me, I have a very special guest, one of my clients, one of my good friends, Evelyn. How are you doing today, Evelyn? I'm doing so great. How are you? I'm doing so amazing as well. So we're here today to talk about your song and your mix and to break down your song and mix. Can you tell us a little bit about your song? So what is it called? Um, it's called Make It Out. Yeah, and uh, tell me uh, your thought process, your creative process, writing the song. Yeah, so um, I actually, it's it's been a few months actually when I wrote this song. Um, so I wrote it with uh, Nick Day. He actually just like did the keys and I wrote the lyrics and the melody. And um, yeah, it was like right when I like just vibed with the song I now, wrote it. Yeah. Now, yeah. Ly- lyrically, does it have any meaning to you personally, or? Yeah. So I feel like the meaning of the song is my like future self, like right now, talking to my kind of like high school self. Um, so. Like everything's gonna be all right. You're gonna make it out, right? Yeah. So like the song, like when I was in middle school, high school, like <laughs> I. I, uh, so in seventh grade, I lost my sister to cancer when I was like 12. Man. And then during eighth grade, ninth grade, um, I lost my two friends from suicide. And then, yeah, in high school, another friend. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Quite traumatic. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a really hard time for me. And so when I really wanted to write a song about that, um, like of my, like right now talking to my like past self that like everything is it's gonna turn out like all right and you know you're gonna make it yeah so it's like a bit like cheesy but no no it's not cheesy (laughs) at all I think I think that's a great message so let me ask you um when you were working with your producer uh good friend Zach Mm -hmm. so Zach uh produced the song for you um you wrote it on keys and made lyrics and melody Mm -hmm. now what um how did his production um, enhance or add to what you were trying to say, I guess. Yeah. So, um, so at first I wanted to make it type of like a upbeat mid tempo song, um, kind of like a house type of beat, um, with like R and B. And I told him like what type of vibe I wanted to go for. And, um, yeah, so... Yeah, because, I mean, this song, it's it's obviously not sad. I mean, yeah. like, the p- production didn't make it make me feel, like, really sad yeah, and blue. Yeah, yeah. Like, your backstory that we I just heard for the first time is pretty sad and brutal and traumatic, but at the same time, like, I felt like the song gave me a, a vibe for, like, hope, you know? It was, mm-hmm. like, it was bright. It wasn't, like, super down and gloomy. Yeah. Is that kind of what you were going for? Yeah, because, like, you, like, hear songs that... They, they like make the songs like upbeat and then if you were to write it in like a ballad it would just be like super sad song so I wanted to do it as like kind of like a upbeat type of song yeah absolutely absolutely so I'm gonna play back about 15 to 20 seconds of uh the song yeah um I'm gonna play back the uh demo first the rough mix first and then I'm gonna play back the uh my mix and then we can talk a little bit about it Down in the water, she super cool song good job Evelyn thank you yeah I think the production and everything says sounds really awesome you know something that I could vibe to yeah yeah 
Yeah. So I, how are you? How happy were you with uh, the way that everything turned out? I, I with was the like, production and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I was like super. Like it just like my song just like came back, came to life. You know, just how exactly how I explained it to Zach and. Yeah, I was super happy about it. That is so awesome. Yeah, no, I, I really did feel like this is something that we were talking off the mic before we started. But I really do feel like uh, you did a good job with the, the lyrics and the way that the song goes, like the song structure. And I, I honestly, I just wanted kind of to enhance everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can tell that it's not super like the difference between the two mixes isn't huge. You know, obviously you guys were going for a vibe. The, pro- the producer, Zach, he was trying to do something with it. Um, but there are some things that if you guys listen back, um, the, the pre-chorus right before the chorus and then my new pre-chorus with the, uh, the new mix, um, it was the clarity is kind of just night and day mm-hmm. specifically in that part. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, um, as well as like the reverb wash on everything. Um, I, I really felt like um, we were able to successfully bring out the emotions um, mm-hmm. of the song a little bit more and kind of help people hear what you were saying a little bit more. How, how did you feel on that side of stuff? Like, how do you feel the emotion of the mix to change? Yeah, so when you were, like, saying earlier, like, usually, like, you want, like, an R&B, you want the vocals to stand out more um, and for the lyrics to you know, connect to people. So that's what I was going for. Yeah. And um, how did you otherwise, like other than the vocals, was there anything specific that kind of like, like, did you, what did you think the reverb wash added like uh, to your vibe there? Um, I feel like it gave it a lot more room to like breathe when you said like night and day, like it just like gave it a lot more room and the vocals felt like more closer so you could hear them. Yeah. It felt more intimate. It felt like they were in the room with you, maybe like singing off of a stage or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Um, let's listen to another like 10 seconds or so from like a verse and we'll talk about that. She keeps it in, covering the scars. She sees the stars and wonders in the mirror. Emotions are busting. She stares at the ceiling. Never All right, so that was the first verse of your song and going into uh, the pre-chorus bridge area again. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you hear? Um, there was just like a lot more spacey, like it gave, it totally gave the emotion of the song compared to like the first mix. Like, the, Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you want to hear what I did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, not only did I just add some reverb, I think the reverb is pretty obvious. Mm-hmm. Um, I added some really bright reverb. Yeah. Uh, but I also... Uh, added a lot of high end in your vocals oh. so what it is is so the frequencies well above hearing range so there's a, a plugin that i use that okay. um, makes the frequencies above 20k um, really bright and i can boost it up a lot all right so what that means to you is uh, you can hear a lot more of that in your voice mm-hmm. like there's a lot more of that breath yeah. you can, it, like it's not it doesn't make the old mix sound dull but there's something about the new mix that you can't really tell but the voice just sounds more clear and yeah. detailed yeah and that's what it is because mm-hmm. it didn't sound harsher and mm-hmm. it didn't sound brighter per se yeah i'm just adding in that air you know for yeah. your vocals you can almost hear the the way the wind um your air from your lungs, like moving past your vocal uh-huh. cords, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's a lot more detail. I think it adds a little bit of intimacy. Mm-hmm, I think it adds sure. a little bit more like clarity to what you're saying, Yeah. which is very important to you. We've established that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also think that uh, um, some of the other aspects that go along with it is it does kind of match up to a little bit more radio standard. Yeah. Um, so when you play this it mix does. back compared to uh, if you hit next on Spotify and then this hit plays back and then you hear another one, that you shouldn't be able to hear much of a difference. Mm-hmm. You should be able to like not have to think about the mix, but to, like just go into the next. So yeah. emotionally speaking, um, 
but let's let's talk a little bit about uh, the process and kind of what I went through. Mm-hmm. So we were just talking a little bit off mic as well. Um, this was actually the third mix. Uh, fourth, sorry, fourth mix that I sent you oh, that you approved on, and you didn't hear the first three. Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in China while I was mixing this, and I sent yeah. this to the producer, and then I eventually got you the last mix when you got home. Uh-huh. Um, but the first mix I did, and I came back and listened to it the next day, um, and I decided I want to change a few things. There were some okay. things that were felt different. I, mm-hmm. I emphasized a lot on making things clean. And I noticed that the producer, Zach, when he sent me the rough mix, it was limited, it was dirty, and it made yeah. the kick and snare react yeah. a, a certain way. Like it made it really heavy, yeah, like in a good way, did. like really mm-hmm. bright and smash. You can almost hear it smashing, right? Yeah. Um, and I made the first mix that I did really clean. Mm-hmm. Um, that's just my style. But I, I, I thought about it, and I was like, ooh, Evelyn and Zach probably did this on purpose to a certain degree, right? Mm -hmm. You just wanted it to smash, like, you know, kind of like an EDM dance kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, so I added that back in for the second mix. Mm -hmm. Um, And the difference between the second and third and fourth mix actually wasn't um, very much. The the difference between the first mix and the second mix was pretty dramatic. Uh, Mm -hmm. I raised the vocals up even more. Okay. I turned down the 808 a little bit more, the sub bass. um, And I crushed it a little bit more um and then the difference between the second to the fourth wasn't very much it was just production stuff that zach wanted me to redo yeah as far as production so it wasn't really a mix change mm-hmm. um but i honestly felt i look at ba- listen back to it and i felt like it was an improvement mm-hmm. and what i actually did when i think about it was i just made it more similar to the rough mix that you made mm-hmm like I went from making it a le- little bit more different to a little bit more sim- similar to what you originally had okay yeah um because my again my philosophy is i don't want to change what you were going for Mm -hmm. i just want to enhance it so here's a just 10 second clip of my first mix to my fourth mix All right, so that was a good example of how perfectionist I am. Um, <laughs> that yeah. not, not a big difference there. Uh, I did remember listening back to it. I did uh, lessen the reverb from the first from the first mix to the the last mix. Okay. Um, I also did a few different things with the kick drum and the snare and the bass, the eight oh eight. And in general, I made it just a little bit more crunchy, uh, very subtle. So uh, a little bit more crunchy there, yeah, but uh, yeah. So I wanted to ask you, um, in general, uh, you could have kept the mix from the producer, um, but you did pay me to mix it for you, um, and this is what you're gonna keep to put on Spotify, I assume, and Apple. Yeah, Apple, you yeah, know? yeah. Um, so what what made it worth it for you? Like, what was the reason that you decided to keep it? So I felt like I wanted to keep it because you made it come alive more in a way that other people can just like go to the next song like on spotify and oh be like you know it's like balanced with like other like top like radio songs with like the other mixes and i felt like it just you made it come alive yeah so there was something that quite honestly might be a little bit more difficult to explain Mm -hmm. but there was something that was definitely enhanced and you and in general Uh, <clears throat> just to kind of sum up what you were saying, you honestly felt like the emotion that you were trying to portray was literally enhanced. For sure, right? yeah. I, I, did you feel like I tried to change that emotion? No, all, really? no. I felt like you exactly understood what type of vibe and emotion I was going for. So you felt understood? Yeah, Ooh, yeah. shoot. That's good, good insight there. Um, yeah, no, that's that's amazing. Well, can you tell us a little bit about music? Where can we find it? Um, the music. Yeah. Is this uploaded yet? It's not yet. Okay, so what, tell me your plans on when you plan on, on uploading. <laughs> yeah, so it. I'm releasing that with my EP um, on July 12th. 
Okay. Under, so you have a set date. Yeah, yeah. July 12th. Um, yeah, my name's Evelyn Escalona. And so. is that what your name is on Spotify and iTunes? And stuff? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So you go by the full name, Evelyn yep. Escalona. Okay, yep. cool. And uh, do you have any music up there from before, from past? Um, or is this going to be your first official release? This is going to be like my first like official okay, so, one. <laughs> I mean, beyond SoundCloud and Instagram. Yeah. And, you know, okay, sweet. So this is your first official production and release. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, so I was actually on a, under a different name on a collaborative album. Um, yeah, so this is actually my original music that I'm going to be releasing. That's amazing. And we can find you, we will eventually find your EP on July 12th. I don't know if this episode is going to come out before then mm-hmm. or after then. Yeah. Um, but you might. it might already be out by the time you listen to this episode. Uh, we're going to have your song out. And it's a really cool song. And Thank you. we're going to work on another song together, right? Yeah. And is yeah, this one, is the next excited. one that we're going to do also on the EP? Yeah, it this is. This is great. This is great. So <laughs> keep an eye out yes. uh, for Evelyn and her music. Thank you so much for joining me on this podcast. Yeah, thank you so much. One, two, three. <laughs> This episode of Mixing Music with DK has been brought to you by LaunchPod Media. If you want to start a podcast, make sure to start it right with LaunchPod Media.